Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, the 22nd of February. I'm James Spann. We have the threat of flash flooding, river flooding, severe storms through Sunday morning. Let's go in there and talk about it. Much to discuss again today. This is the upper air look. This is the wind flow about 18,000 feet off the ground. And again, we got the big trough in the western states. That thing brought snow to Los Angeles and Las Vegas, and that'll be lifting out. And finally, that will pull down some drier air in here by Sunday. That was the radar this morning at 4.59. I got uh, rain showers in parts of central Alabama. Nothing especially widespread, but at any time today, we could see some rain. Here are the numbers. We have upper 40s for the Tennessee Valley, mid-50s for Birmingham, upper 60s at Montgomery. Uh, there's clearly a warm front near Interstate 20, and down to the south, you got 70 at Mobile, 68 for Dothan. And uh, many spots will see 70s over South Alabama today, obviously. Uh, cooler for the northern part of the state. I think Birmingham, probably 65 to 70 today. And it's still brutally cold up north. I mean, uh, these guys are just ready for spring. Still below zero in many spots up there. So it's a mess around the nation this morning. Pick out your uh, state there, and you can see what's going on. We've still got winter storm warnings for the Four Corners region back in the southwest United States. Got a winter storm watch from the plains of Colorado and Kansas up into Wisconsin and upper Michigan. And, of course, a bunch of states under flash flood watches over the eastern and southern U.S. No change in the watch for Alabama. That includes roughly the northern half of the state, again, for today and tonight. In terms of severe weather, got a marginal risk of severe storms west of Alabama today. But this will be the uh, big severe weather day, we believe, and this is uh, for tomorrow and tomorrow night. A risk of severe storms in a broad zone from the western Gulf up into parts of Kentucky. These are the probabilities within the enhanced risk. There is a 30% chance of severe storms within 25 miles of a given point. There could be a strong tornado in that zone over North Mississippi and parts of Southeast Arkansas. In Alabama, the uh, SPC guys have pulled the enhanced risk out of the state. We've got the standard slight risk level two out of five west of a line from near Athens to Jasper to Tuscaloosa and a marginal risk as far east as Anniston and Prattville and Citronelle. No severe weather expected from Montgomery South and East. We'll talk about the specifics on this in just a moment. And then on day three, which is Sunday, got a marginal risk right along the uh, Gulf Coast. This is the precipitation for the next seven days. Big numbers for the upper Pacific Coast and uh, again over the Tennessee Valley. Heavier totals just north and west of the state. This is suggesting 3.4 inches for the Shoals, about one inch for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. And we note the guys at WPC, not the SPC, but the WPC, the Weather Prediction Center. And this is, again, not severe weather, but excessive rain. They've got a high risk of excessive rain today for northwest Alabama, north Mississippi, and parts of southern Tennessee. And that's where the flooding threat will be maximized. So, model fans, let's go. The GFS, the 06E run at noon today. A big trough in the west, upper high over the Bahamas. And again, we'll see a number of showers and storms around today. Not going to rain all day. Heaviest rain up in the Tennessee Valley, and the high will be in the 60s for most spots around Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, 70s to the south, 50s to the north. Now, tomorrow, a deep surface low is over Kansas. And again, a pretty decent chunk of the day tomorrow could be dry with scattered showers becoming windy, warm, highs well up in the 70s. And then tomorrow night at midnight, that surface low moves up to near Madison, Wisconsin. And blizzard conditions are likely north and west of that. And, of course, we're in the warm sector with a trailing front, and that'll be pushing a line of showers and storms in here. Uh, here's a look at the high-res NAM. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow night. The uh, band of storms moving into the 
northern and western part of the state. And again, this is suggesting it might be broken and not necessarily, you know, totally filled in. And then by midnight, the a batch of storms coming on into Birmingham. And this seems to be the limiting factor. It's the instability, the uh, these high resolution convection allowing models not showing much. And they might be underdoing this. They have a habit of doing that. But this is showing just a little sliver of instability coming up in advance of the front. Now, obviously, the shear values are very high. So if we get some sustained up drafts, they could try and rotate. So uh, this is the bottom line. We, we've adjusted the timing a little bit. The main window for severe storms over northwest Alabama, 6 until 11. Uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, 9 until 2 tomorrow night. And remember, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, just at a marginal risk. With the uh, lack of instability, the better chance of the uh, severe storms over the northwestern part of the state in that slight risk area. And more than likely, the higher tornado threat will be in the enhanced risk around Memphis, down Interstate 55 into Mississippi. So the main threat, strong straight line winds, kind of a low end tornado threat. And we'll just watch how the whole thing evolves. The key is going to be how much instability do we see with this. But how about some good news? Sunday, we dry out. The sky becoming partly to mostly sunny. The high will be in the 60s. Monday, we're dry. The high close to 60. Tuesday, we're dry. Highs in the upper 60s. But here comes the moisture. We'll bring back the chance of showers on Wednesday. And we'll maintain a chance of showers Thursday of next week. And a week from today, Friday, March 1st, troughing north and west of here. And that's suggesting that first little impulse will be moving on. That might be fairly dry. But I don't think we see any flooding issues next week. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 3rd. Kind of a broad trough over much of the country, and that looks kind of wet. And yeah, maybe winter mischief on the northern flank of that. But again, this is 10 days out. This will change. The warmest days of the next 15 days, if this verifies, are today and tomorrow. I don't know if we see 72 today. We'll probably see 60s, but 70s tomorrow, yes. And then after that, highs mostly in the 50s, or highs mostly in the 50s and 60s for a while. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.